Hello, it's Matthew from Zero Chippenham here and I'm just going to do a quick update on how much it costs to run our heat pump in November and December this year. So we had it installed by Octopus uh, back in October and we've had a couple of cold months now and a very cold January and you can hear the heat pump uh, working really hard at the moment because it's freezing out here. So I thought you'd give you a quick update. So what about November? The first month of running and towards the end of November it got really cold. Well, firstly, a few differences to factor in compared with 2023. Um, so our insulation in the house, our solar and battery were pretty much the same, to be honest. The main difference was we no longer have gas and we also now cook with an induction hob. So in November, our total electricity usage on the bill came to 699 kilowatt hours and that was charged at a grand total of £125.84 which was £107 including the stand-in charge. So how did that compare with 2023? Well in 2023 we had gas um, for our heating and our cooking and we used a grand total of 525 kilowatt hours of electricity, 1,172 of gas, so that made a grand total in 2023 of 1,697 kilowatt hours. I can see you glazing over already, but essentially that's a lot less usage. In fact, we use 40% uh, pretty much less energy in 2024 with the heat pump, uh, a whopping you know 1,697 kilowatt hours down to 699, and so that meant a financial saving as well. We um, our total bill was £194 in November 2023 and November 2024 was down to £125. So we made a £68 saving. Um, there weren't really any weather differences looking at the uh, back at the data. It got cold at the end of November in both months and the average temperatures were about the same. So not really much difference there. Um, we lost the standing charge for the gas meter but our electricity stand in charge went up in that time. So uh, pretty much the same. And that also includes our car charging uh, overnight. Uh, about the same usage, we don't really charge our car or use it that much. We're mostly walking and cycling these days. So then we go on to December. Well, December was getting pretty cold towards the end of it. Uh, and obviously we've got the Christmas period. Um, we had a lot higher house usage as we had a lot of guests pretty much every weekend and our children were here every weekend. Um, so how did that fare? Well, we used 848 kilowatt hours of electricity at a cost of £156.90. Uh, that compared with December 2023 where we used a total of gas and electricity of 2,033 kilowatt hours. Uh, with a bill of 217 pounds so yeah lots of numbers in there but again surprisingly perhaps uh, we use 41 percent of the energy again so the same saving in energy uh, and our bill was 60 pound less so we've saved a total of 128 pounds in two months of running um, so why have we done that how have we done that um, well, if you look at the efficiency of the heat pump, and you have to go into the um, the Daikin, Daikin man machine interface to do this, um, you can work out how efficiently the heat pump's running. And the way you do that is you look at the heat output it produces in kilowatt hours, the electricity going into it in kilowatt hours, you divide one by the other, and it tells you how well it's doing. So uh, for heating alone, um, in November we were running at a cop. 3.75 hot water was a bit lower at 2.44 and this is largely because it has to work really hard when it's uh, heating up the hot water and also it's really cold at night when we're doing it we're scheduling it to run overnight so that was a combined efficiency of 3.7 now if you compare that with the gas boiler that's pretty good so you're running at 370 percent versus about 90 percent maximum on a gas boiler And once a week as well with the hot water we're running an anti-legionella cycle which for that extra 10 degrees on top to get it to the 60 degrees C it uses the immersion heater which obviously doesn't run the same efficiency as the heat pump. So uh, and if I look at um, December efficiency it actually got better again we were actually running it over four 
um, 100% for the heating, hot water about the same. So if you think about that, the reason we've managed to make the savings actually is because we're on the internet, uh, sorry, internet, Intelligent Octopus Go tariff because we have um, an EV charger. And that means that at night we get just under seven pence per kilowatt hour. And we schedule a hot water to heat in the middle of the night for a couple of hours. And what that means, if you think about it, seven pence per kilowatt hour, running at an efficiency of about nearly three, means you're only paying two and a bit pence per kilowatt hour uh, for hot water. So that's an incredibly efficient hot water um, usage, which we then, um, the other surprise, or, or not surprise, is that, that stays hot throughout the day. So pretty much it heats up to 50 degrees C, and still by the evening of the next day, it's still at above 40, and you can have a bath with that and, and run it out, and it, it works really well. So rather than seeing this tank that we've got as an inconvenience, I'm actually now seeing it as like a giant battery. It's like a giant thermal battery um, that you can charge up at night, effectively, by heating the hot water, and then it stays warm all day long. And, and they are super efficient. You can't hear, feel any um, heat uh, coming out from the tank whatsoever. Um, so that's definitely the way I've managed to save money. Um, our day rate is 24 pence per kilowatt hour, which is when we're really running the heating. And the heating's running it over four times efficient. Um, so that brings you back down to um, just under seven pence a kilowatt hour. And if you compare that with gas, which was about seven pence a kilowatt hour, but ran about 90% efficient at best, then actually we're saving a little bit. So if you had a completely flat rate tariff of about 24 pence a day, it would probably be equivalent cost to gas. But because we're using a smart tariff uh, and heating the hot water at night, we're actually managing to save money. So um, isn't that down to the solar and batteries, something you say? Well, I'd say no. And the reason for that is we had solar panels and a five kilowatt hour battery this time last year. And actually, um, it didn't last all day then. You know, our battery would never last all day in the winter. It's only in the summer months it would do that. So whilst obviously it makes a difference to our overall electrical cost, it hasn't made any difference to those savings we make by having a heat pump. If you had a much bigger battery, um, then obviously you could make more savings. And um, that's why I kind of view the hot water tank as a bit of a thermal battery. Um, apart from that, um, I think everything's pretty much equivalent. I'm really pleased with the heat pump. We have a lovely warm house, hot water all the time, and it's saving us money. Um, so I would highly recommend one. I'm very pleased with it. Thank you.